gentlemen, welcome back to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. We are still working submissions from the side mount, from the arm pass through position. We worked a couple where the guy's sitting up and then where I can flatten him out. Guys who get caught in the great popper, which is the last submission that we worked from here a couple of different times, are going to learn really quick. The last thing that they want when they have their arm pass through like that is to get flattened out on their back. So you're going to have guys really want to try to stay up on their side because if you're trying for the great popper and the guy's up on his side, you really don't have the proper pressure to finish that hold. So this is my option that I go to if I can't flatten the guy out. It's called the Armenian necktie. Uh, I got it from a video uh, where Carl Parisian was doing this, something he came up with just rolling. I'll put a link in the description to Carl's video that was on another channel from where I got it from. But if you've got this in your bag of tricks, it's a really good one that you can pull out, especially when you have guys countering your great popper. That way, uh, you have an option when they're up on their side, you have an option when they're flattened out. You have a few different options from the position, you can become a little bit more deadly. So, Nick is down here in side control. I've gotten in. Uh, another way to set up this arm passed over position that I didn't mention before is a common one. If I can get here and kind of turn to this sort of reverse twister side position, a lot of times I'll step over like this. Nick feels like this is a weird position, so he goes to try to push my foot off, and then I can catch, capture, and come back. Uh, so that's one way I like to set the position up. If I get Nick in here, I gripped his bottom shoulder so I can keep him from sitting all the way through, but he knows I want to go great popper, so there's no way he's going to go flat on his back. He's fighting like crazy to stay up on his side. This is where I'm going to go with the Armenian necktie. So crucial change in the grip between this and the great popper. Great popper, I want this arm pushed through as far as I can because I want to try to put a rear naked choke grip in here. Armenian necktie is actually the exact opposite of that. I want to pull this back. I'm going to go really shallow on the grip. So I want my thumb just barely on the other side of his neck. Once I get that through, I'm going to put a grip of some kind in. I use a gable grip. Uh, if you watch Carl's video, he actually uses uh, with thumbs, which is normally a no-no, generally prefer gable grip. Uh, he likes to do it like that. Says it tends to work better for him. Fantastic. I usually use a gable grip. It all works. As long as the guy taps, who really cares? So he gets up. I wrap. I go back here. I'm trying to flatten him out for the great popper. He's having none of that. So at this point, I'm going to retract my elbow so I can get my thumb right here at the base of his neck. I'm going to put the gable grip on. Now at this point, I'm going to turn my hips a little bit and then I'm going to step over his head. So this takes a little bit of flexibility and dexterity, but I need to step over. Once I get back here, all I'm doing is I'm taking this foot that I've stepped over his head and I'm drawing it back at the same time as I'm pulling up with that. As you can see from how quick he tapped on that, this is a nasty, nasty, nasty submission when it comes on right. You get very fast taps from it and it's miserable. And it's very weird because I don't really have a good arm triangle with it. There's not a lot of pressure down here on this shoulder so this carotid is kind of clear it doesn't really have a lot going on with it i've got a good grip on the other side closing this carotid off but once i step over when this comes over his head all i'm doing is i'm just drawing this foot back so i'm tucking his head down with my foot if i've got that gable grip locked in place turning up to drive that wrist into the side of his neck while I'm drawing his head back. This is game over. This is awful. It is very difficult to withstand. So I get here. I pass the arm across. Trying to set up my great popper. Nick is having none of it. Retract the elbow. Put the grip in place. Step over the head. And once I get here, draw that back and crank up and get a quick tap from the Armenian necktie. Uh, fantastic little one to have in your bag of tricks. Guys don't generally see it coming because there's not a lot of guys that do it. So give that a try. Watch Carl's video. See how he does it. Put that together with how I do it. See what works for you. Play around with that. Uh, if you like the video, please drop me a like. It helps me out with YouTube being able to show my videos to people. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell if you can. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.